before you even begin to attempt plugging all of this stuff in, I need to go over something that I failed to mention before and I didn't realize until after I'd done it and um, shorted out the battery that I figured out what happened. So first off, I'm using two 2S batteries for this, um, but it's gonna be identical for 3S, you know, 4S, 5S, whatever. Um, so right now I've got them hooked up to the serial adapter. So although these are two uh, 2S batteries, now that they're wired up, on the power end here, it's going to appear as if it's a 4S battery. So in order to hook this up properly and balance it properly, you need to pay very close attention to how you're hooking this up. Um, I cannot stress this enough. Um, if you do not do this properly, you will short something out, you will start a battery on fire, or you will destroy your charger, or both. So once you get this plug hooked up and you've got it plugged in together and everything, and hopefully you have color coding, as I instructed you in the video where you make this. Um, basically, when you hook all of this up, the way the charger is going to see this is the wire on the far right, um, it should be black, um, is what is going to be the negative or the ground wire. So what that means is when you have all of your batteries hooked up, whichever battery has the negative side over here, needs to match that on the balance connector. So if you have it hooked up just like this, the positive wire is on the left and the negative wire is on the right. So what that means is the battery that's on the right here is going to be the negative uh, beginning wire. So what that means is on your, your charger connector here, and this is a lot of times why people recommend charging in parallel and not in series like I'm instructing you right here, um, is you wanna make sure that the the battery that's hooked up on the negative side also has the balance plug negative on that same side. If you do not do that, you will get a spark and it won't work. This is the plug properly plugged together and this is now ready to be plugged into a charger and the charger, when it sees this battery, will see it as a 4S battery. So we have our power connector and we've got the negative on this side going to this battery, which also means on the balance connector, we need to have the battery that's the negative to the charger also be the negative on the balance board. If you do not connect it properly like this, it will short out and start on fire or spark or burn up your wiring. Um, I made that mistake, unfortunately. I could not figure out what was happening. Um, I even used the batteries you know, that I'd used before and I was trying to figure out what the heck. Um, by chance, when I was making the first video, I happened to plug it in properly, so if you were Plugging these in, make sure that you are doing it properly. So the battery that uh, was gonna have the negative lead to the charger also has the negative lead on the balance connector. Do not screw this up. Okay, so in the other video, I went over how to make a serial connector, um, which is going to add the voltages of the batteries together. Now, let's take a look and see what exactly that does for us. Now, most likely you can't use this in your car. Uh, it'll be too much power and fry your uh, electronics. So unless you know that you can run uh, 6S wired together, don't, don't do this uh, basically, or maybe you're having, you know, using two 2S packs, so then you're trying to get 4S, double check, uh, quadruple check, make sure that you are using the proper voltages um, for your RC so you don't, you know, fry anything. So now on top of that, um, we're gonna be charging with this uh, Onyx 260 charger, which I did an unboxing in a different video. Now, this does have the capability to charge two batteries at once. However, if you have uh, two batteries that are exactly the same, so like both of these are 5,000 milliamp, and you can add them together basically and charge them together as one battery. So although it's two separate batteries, uh, they're each a 3S battery. We've got to add it together, and then we're gonna tell the charger that instead of charging a 3S battery like this connector, we're gonna be using the very top one, which is for charging 6S batteries. So that way we can charge two of these batteries at the same time and still have an available channel to be able to charge other batteries on the other side. So theoretically, you would be able to charge four batteries at once with this charger, assuming uh, you're using pairs. So the first part of this equation that you're going to uh, need, you will need to uh, have a serial connector. You can either make one of these or you can buy them online. 
Okay, so I did buy one online. So this is a serial connector that I bought um, to use. However, what I didn't realize is because the, the Dean's connectors are so close together, um, the plugs don't actually fit on there. And so I ended up having to make my own. So not a big deal. You can get packs of Dean's connectors for relatively cheap and then you can do this yourself. Or if you do buy a serial connector online, make sure you buy one that's similar to this where you've got the wires exposed and the, the connectors are separate. So then that way you don't run into this issue where the connectors are too close together. Now, the other part of this equation that you're gonna need, you need a, a connector that uh, combines a 3S and a 3S into a 6S. Now they also make these to combine a 2S and a 2S into a 4S battery and so on, but you're going to need this in order to be able to plug into your balancing charging board. So let's get this wired up and I'll show you what we need to do. Okay, so now I've got everything plugged together. I've got this serial connect connector, uh, adding the voltages together to make this a 6S pack. And then in order to be able to properly balance charge them, we're gonna have to get that, that splitter that connects the two uh, 3S batteries into a 6S battery. So now when you're looking at it on the charger, the charger just sees it as one battery that has six uh, LiPo cells in it. Now, it is important that you probably, uh, in order to avoid really slow charge times and that kind of thing, make sure that these batteries are used in pair, pairs. So for example, I use both of these in my E-Revo. And so when they discharge, they discharge pretty similarly, um, but you won't want to have one battery that's 50% um, charge and the other one that's 10%. It would still charge it, um, but it's going to take a lot longer because it's having to balance the batteries uh, separately and it's going to take a lot longer to do so. So once you've got all of that set up and everything, um, depending on the charger that you have, make sure that you have it properly set up and showing that it is a 6S battery pack. And then of course, set your charge rate however you'd like. And then after that, um, take a look and you can see the voltages on those batteries and then go ahead and start your charging and you're all set. That is how you charge a uh, two 3S batteries or two 2S batteries as one battery on your charger. So now on there, we're looking at it, it shows that it's a 6S. Uh, we're gonna hit back and take a look and that way you can see all the different voltages on those batteries. So, so again, saves you some time and it enables you if you have a charger that maybe only has one charging output um, but you, you have a car that uses two batteries at a time um, to be able to charge everything all together and make things a lot easier for you, uh, as well as uh, reduce charging times. Like for example, I've got a slash, so I can have one battery charging over here, and then I can have the Revo battery pairs over here charging, and that way everything's done at once. I don't have to charge one battery here, one battery here, and then as soon as something's done, throw the other battery on.